to our ACCDN studios, Kelly Nash joined alongside World Series champ Joe Borchard, here to bring you a new segment today called Full Count 3 and 2. Three things Joe's looking forward to for the 2013 baseball season and two things he's going to miss. Let's start with the positives, Joe. What are you looking forward to? Number one, looking forward to Carlos Rodon at NC State. Incredible freshman campaign, Golden Spikes finalist. Just not enough you can say about this young man. Now that he's established himself in his freshman year, it's going to be interesting to see what he does in his sophomore year. Number two, Chris Pollard taking over the Duke program, a program that's been in the doldrums for a very long time. One winning season since 1961 in the ACC Conference. Uh, be interesting to see if he can turn this program around like he did up at Appalachian State. Number three, Trey Turner at NC State. 57 stolen bases this year, does so many things well. Let's see if he can steal 100 next year. Why not, right? Love it. Pack didn't miss that catch. What are you going to miss in 2013? Definitely going to miss James Ramsey at Florida State. Great young man, had a great season. Just simply a class act. And the four years that he gave the Seminoles, we're definitely going to miss seeing him play. Number two, the UNC pitching staff. They had really a complete staff this year. It's going to be difficult for them to ever put together the type of collective effort that they had this season. They're going to lose their uh, closer, most likely, Michael Morin. And uh, it's going to be tough for them to put together the same type of effort that they did this season. Yeah, if there was a, such a thing as a perfect college pitching staff, it would have looked like that. I think so. Now we got to go to James Ramsey. He came back for his senior season. Jace Boy, though, and also Robert Benacasa foregoing their senior years to go pro. What do you think of this decision? Well, for Ramsey, I think the decision was much easier. He was a 22nd round pick last season. For Boyd and Benacasa, they were 6th and 7th round picks, respectively wasn't necessarily a no-brainer for them, so I think they just saw a good opportunity and they, they decided to take advantage of it. Looking towards 2013, any surprises? Maybe not necessarily surprises, but NC State, I think hopefully they can complete that run to Omaha. Maybe Rodon can carry them all the way to that first uh, ACC champion at the College World Series since 1955. It's been a long time for the conference. Also be interesting to see if Miami can reload like they normally do and put together a strong run. The Wolfpack came so close this year. A lot to look forward to next year. For Joe Borchard, I'm Kelly Nash. Thanks for joining us.